You're listening to The Dugout. On Lead Student Radio. Hello and welcome to the dugout. It's the 26th of February 2009. We'll be discussing 30 minutes of the finest football punditry you're going to hear anywhere on LSR today. We have a full studio, really packed studio, and what a studio it is. Um, we're going to go round. I'd like to know from all of you the result of the week. The uh, Bayern Munich winning 5-0 away from home. Against any anyone winning 5-0 away from home, fantastic result. Sam? Uh, Liverpool's result. I'm going to have to go with Bayern as well, 5-0 away from mm-hmm. home. Phil, which way are you going to sway your vote? I'll say the Liverpool result. 2-2. Two, two. Oh. We go to Abel. I'm going for... Uh, I'm Bayern, I reckon. 3-2 Bayern. Five in Bayern. Portugal is amazing, isn't it? Middlesbrough 2, West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, whilst they go around and introduce themselves, they're going to relate their first ever game they went to as fans. My first football game was Spurs Middlesbrough. It was quite a boring affair. I think it finished 1 1. And uh, would you believe it? Chris Armstrong scored uh, the goal for Spurs, so that doesn't happen too often. But I, uh, I fell asleep. I didn't actually. I missed, <laughs> I missed the goal. Absolutely. The emails have already started coming in. Josh has been in touch said bloody long time ago with West Ham players in England set up. Alex, you want to respond to that? <laughs> Not really. It's, 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 been it's a, a stupid comment <laughs> since for, for a person who probably doesn't know what he's talking about, who doesn't <laughs> know about football. Because basically, well, Green was in the last squad, so there's, there's your theory up in flames. Oli, I want to ask you, what would happen if you didn't get fourth? How would you sort of feel? Do you think I'll Wenger should you. go or what? I'll tell you what happened. We'll get the UEFA Cup. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I, no will Wenger go um, you know what if he doesn't get Champions League football I think he should you know just say that's it I've got to go like he thought Ooh. I thought it's Wenger knows Wenger I've... does know but he will get four <laughs> you know what I look at Liverpool in Europe and I, I will stick by what I say they get lucky they beat Real Madrid 1-0 and that was a good result but it wasn't a penalty I Doubt the first goal was a goal against Arsenal last year. We should have had a penalty. Yeah. They should have had a penalty. True. You know the goals that they... Inter Milan ten men. Yeah, that, it, they was never no ten men against Inter Milan last year. Us, it's just they get so lucky. It's so lucky. It so <laughs> angers me. <laughs> angers me. What that. do you think of the the people sort of suggesting? Oh, UEFA didn't want an all English, so it's just absolute rubbish. <laughs> like them people should be hung, George. And them pe- sent <laughs> them to prison, people sent to prison, and throw away the key and never see, <laughs> never comment on football ever again. That's my quite a moderate over here in the corner. Yeah, they're just uh... for anyone was that a penalty in the last minute. No, where, no, no. The, the what the the handball in the yeah, last where, minute. Yeah, where Balak smacked no it in. Chance. Not in a billion years. He turned he like he turned his back and it hit. I him don't think it's going to help if you demonstrate no, here. It's radio. Like a webcam. Oh, no, okay. No. Tune in on webcam. You can see one me waving my ar- the Arsenal flag <laughs> from uh, from the game, the semi final against United, and two Alex demonstrate demonstrating. Again? Josh Black has been in touch with another football song. Elliot Cord, you want the honour of reading out this one? When you're sat in row Z and the ball hits your head, that's Zamora. If you want to get your song read out by <laughs> someone as esteemed as Elliot Cor, send it into studio at lsrfm.com. Ari's been in touch saying once again an- another goal line incident occurred with drugs were shot that appeared to cross the line. Mm-hmm. When on earth are we going to get the uh, goal line technology in football? Here, here. It's about time, about you, time you, we you put it in. The Adidas oh, thing, the Adidas yeah. technology, the Adidas is set up. It's basically just it loads like ice hockey. It's in the ball, completely done. So as soon as it crosses the line, buzzer goes off, play stops. There's no referring, there's no time wasting. It's just just like ice hockey, the buzzer goes in. Surely that's a sensible solution. They went and took it to UEFA, they took it to the FA who said, right, great, sounds good. No, what we're going to do is we're going to stick another linesman behind. The goal. I mean, is yeah, that not ludicrous? Just... After Thingy got sent off, they Thingy, were come on, with the sports show on LSR. Abidal, come on. Abidal, yeah, him. We've had a few emails in. We'll start with Max's. Why do Spurs want to win the Carling Cup so much? As the only major benefit of it is getting into Europe, but now they're in Europe and they don't care about <laughs> yes. it. We've got such a packed schedule, though. I mean, he's got no, he's got no other choice, and it's a good chance to see the youngsters play. Of course, he's got another choice. That's utterly ridiculous. What, like you, got, you Thursday can, and then play Sunday. You can. <laughs> a little story from uh, from Italy that's come out that might have interested you. Might not have been picked up by the news, but I know the listeners of the day will be interested uh, concerning Massimo Oddo. So the German newspaper reporting the Bayern Munich defender recently seduced by two sexy uh, female police officers in, I- in Italy. They photographed him in compromising positions uh, two months ago, threatened to publish them if he did not stump up €150,000. Um, <laughs> thoughtfully, they also showed the pictures to his wife. Um, Otto <laughs> pretended to play along, listen to this, agreed to drop off the money at a Milan cathedral. However, when the extortioners arrived, they were greeted by not 
the money, but rather sight of 40 undercover police officers. Um, and the photos haven't got out, so he's got away with that. Could you imagine that happening in this country? See, Ashley Cole wouldn't get a lot of sympathy had it been him. <laughs> Where's your yeah. <laughs> There's true. I'm, I'm right. I thought it was like an open drawer. So no, no, no. You're in like a separate thing. A separate pot. Yeah, it's Platini's thing to make little teams like go up more. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he explains it better than that when it comes to that draw. <laughs> Wait, welcome to Geneva. We want to make the uh, teams <laughs> go up a bit more today. I'm personally, I like the Over Cup more, clearly more than Hayden. Like does. Yeah, there? I would really like to win the Over Cup. I love playing the Over Cup games. I love love Thursday night, whether it be Udinese or this, that, the other. I enjoy it. I, I clearly enjoy Three it. days beating Udinese. <laughs> <laughs> we lost to them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next little bit of news that came out today was uh, from former United defender Gerard Piquet. I don't know if anyone saw this. Yeah. Um, about the burger and beer culture um, and he suggested several players always broke the body fat machine whilst he was at Manchester United I and mean, he didn't go as far as mentioning Wayne Rooney <laughs> <laughs> Myself and Ollie were fortunate enough to uh, find ourselves in Rome for the game and we recorded a little audio diary for your enjoyment Ollie, it's penalties uh, I don't know, what, what, can, what do we say? God, I feel like I invent now why did you not kill off the game in the first leg, putting us through this hell. Cheers, boys. Manuel Almunia, be a hero. We have done it. Arsenal set the signal penalties. Only short. I feel like crying. We've just won 7-6 on penalties, and we missed our very first one. Unbelievable moment. This is why we go. This is why we love football. This is why you listen to their dugout at 6.30 every Thursday. Oh my God! Roma had a terrible miss of the penalty. Probably the worst penalty I've ever seen, but fair enough, you went through via like, like Liverpool. So. <laughs> and this is like how you won the Champions League. Go away, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary. No, that's just jealousy. We're playing the German national anthem in the background because we're going to go back to talking about the big game of the night. I quite like the national anthem of Germany. Is that bad? I, mean, I like the Italian one. Do you like it? And the French one. I just think it sounds quite, quite strong. Quite. Yeah, it does. The Russian one's even better. It's a proper like dictatorship and like kind of good. Is that what you like? Yeah. A dictatorship. All right. And the national anthem. You got to love. You got to love it. Any military strong. Our one's pathetic. We need to change. <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> our our anthem is pathetic. pathetic quote and Abel. rubbish and get rid of it. Okay, I mean, while we're talking about the UEFA Cup, it would be foolish to perhaps rule out talking about this seventh place race. I mean, it did look a while ago like West Ham would have a chance, <laughs> didn't it? But it, it doesn't really look that so way. So happy about it, aren't you? Look at you. <laughs> Why are you so... No, him, Sam. What went wrong? What's gone wrong last couple of years? Nothing's gone wrong. Injuries? Why do Arsenal fans keep moaning? You've got no divine right to win the title. We're not What's, moaning. Yeah, you are. We're discussing the fact that, you know, do we need to change philosophy or are we happy with how it is? Is that moaning? Yeah. <laughs> right, my thing is, right, I'd go, I went on Arsenal message boards, yeah, it's the most moaning <laughs> place. And you're calling us like, we're, you're telling us we're ridiculous human beings, you're, you're looking at I Arsenal message boards, you're, you're a third year, human. come on. Okay, just hold on a sec, we've got a, we've got a phone call here. Hello? Hi, lovey. Firstly, we wish you better, we hear you have glandular fever, which is a, a terrible shame at I the end did. of your university experience. I'm fine, I'm just chatted, that's all it is, I'm fine, oh jeez. <laughs> Okay, I was going to send someone, Alex, round to sort you out, because he hasn't got much else to do, because all he's doing in his evenings is checking Arsenal message boards, so really, if you need anyone to bring you some grapes or anything, he'll be round in no time. I'll bear in mind, cheers. Now, Stephen, are you still on the line? I am indeed, yeah. Well, no one mentioned Middlesbrough there, and that you're the ones down in 19th and we've got three games to go. We are. Uh, you, you're playing Newcastle Monday, it's a huge game, isn't it? It is, I think it's been possibly hyped a little bit people say it's the biggest game in the club's history but the yeah, Newcastle huge game for us I mean it is for, for both clubs but I mean it's going to be <laughs> a real test I mean we, we can't score at the moment which is a massive problem for a football team um, and uh, Newcastle I think the one saving grace we have is the fact that Newcastle are by and large jokers with comedic players so. <laughs> right yeah guys it's, it's definitely time to go it's coming up to 7 o'clock um, we'll be back on Friday uh, with Kickstart, uh, that's going to be at three o'clock. Um, I'm sure you know some of the members in from today's studio will be there. Then make sure you pick up your copy of the Leeds Student this week. Isn't that right, Laurie? Thanks, Josh. Thanks for the plug. Um, but we're going to leave you with Hope and Glory. It's three lions. Um, but the Skinner's famous 1996 effort. Thank you so much for listening. This has been the Dugout on Leeds Student Radio. <laughs>